Hey there everyone, this is Sarah. Today I'll be looking at this Crazy Art Softy Dough Magic Dough Machine. Thank you very much to Crazy Art who sent me this toy, although I did have it on my list of toys to review already. With this set, you can magically mix and make cool colored dough. On the box, it says you can make the colored dough in five minutes. The Magic Dough Machine is for ages five and up and the retail price is $24.95. So inside the box, they give you one magic dough machine. It does come in three different parts, but it's pretty easy to put together. Four bags of white softy dough, three colors of dye, including red, yellow, and blue. They also give you four empty cups with lids for your softy dough, one plastic cutting tool, a small bag of glitter, two tiny cookie cutters, two sheets of stickers, and some directions on how to use your machine and how to clean your machine. Let's take a closer look at the Magic Dough Machine. At the very top, you have a crank that you can turn. This mixes the dough that's inside of the dough machine. On one side of the machine, you have a lever that when you push it down, it helps to lock the machine onto your table. So let's get started and make some pretty dough colors. What's really nice is that they gave you the dough in these Ziploc bags. That way, if you don't use all of it, you can just put it back into the bag and zip it up for next time. The instructions recommend to use only about a golf ball size of dough in your machine so that it can mix super easily. There, this looks to be the right size. I'll just take the lid off the machine first. Put in my dough. I flattened it out just a little bit. Let's add a couple drops of the red color and a couple drops of the blue color. Put the lid back on and push it down as far as it can go. Turn the lever into the lock position. This will help your machine stay on your table. Now start turning the crank. Hmm, you can kind of see that the dough is changing color. This is just the first run through. Let's put it in the machine again to get a deeper color. Hey, this is a lot better this time around. Ooh, I really kind of like that marble effect. That's really pretty. Well, I decided to stick it through the machine one more time. The color looks way more even. Yep, the third time around is the charm. Although with this color and the texture, it reminds me of ground beef. Let's try another color. I'm gonna clean out my machine and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna put in my fresh white dough. Add a few drops of yellow and a few drops of blue. Do you guys know what color this is gonna be? Yep, it's gonna be some version of green. The colors are already blending together. Hey, this was a lot better this time around. I think it was because I added more color. One small problem I had was that I did notice that a lot of the dough got stuck to the side of the machine. Fortunately, they do give you this plastic knife to dig it out, but I do admit it was kind of a pain. Here's what it looks like the second time around. I do like this green color. It's so nice and minty. 
Now I know by now some of you guys are probably thinking, do I really need the machine to mix the different colors together? Well here's what happens if you do it without the machine. And here is the finished dough. I was trying to be as neat as possible, but the color still got all over my fingers. The colors matched pretty closely though. Let me go wash my hands and see how the color comes off. That was a complete success. I didn't even have to use soap to get all the color off. The color must be some sort of a washable paint. Also, I do want to give you guys fair warning that this can be a bit of a pain to clean. Although it's very easy to pop out all the pieces, it can be quite challenging to get them back in. This red piece has to go in just the correct way or else the machine doesn't work right. Kids, especially the little ones, are going to need some help getting this piece back in. Also to the parents out there, the glitter that comes inside this set is very, very fine. Most of the glitter is able to stick to the dough, but you are going to have a few pieces of glitter that don't and that will be stuck to your hand. So if you're looking to not have glitter everywhere, I would definitely get your kids to wash their hands immediately after playing with the glitter dough. The two included tiny cookie cutters gave me a really cute butterfly shape and a flower shape. When you're done playing with the dough, you can stick it inside one of the plastic containers that they included in the set. Although they gave you alphabet stickers to use to name your colors, I kind of wish they included labels instead. That way you could make up your own names for the colors you made out of the machine. Since they didn't do that, I'll just have to use this P for pink and G for green. Well, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know in the comments box down below if you think you'd buy this or not with a yes or a no. Again, thank you guys so, so much. We'll see you in the next video.